this is Matt with TechnoX Gaming once again, and I'm going to continue on with Atlas Reactor. I'm going to play a character that I think is best suited for me. And uh, this is the one and only support character that's actually available in the game. Uh, but I've been able to use some mod tokens that I've earned throughout the game to kind of like mod it up here. I'll show you. Basically, I've got a bunch of, I've unlocked almost all of the abilities here except for Catch of the Day, which is, I don't know, it gain additional 6 energy if only one target is hit. I'm not really sure if I'm actually keen on that rather than dealing up to 3 da damage the smaller arc of the cone is, and I can actually control that arc as well. But really, the support characters are basically your healers which is a really good thing to have, I guess, in this kind of match. I've actually done quite a bit of good healing, depending on how good the group is. Um, sometimes the group stays together, and I can like basically do a bunch of area effect uh, healing here. And a lot of people appreciate that. This is not so effective if everybody is on the opposite sides of the board, but... I found out if that happens, we basically pretty much lose because everybody's divided and nobody's actually united in trying to do anything. We've got the leech here, which is basically your direct attack. I, had, I really don't have uh, much in the way of uh, mods here except for a 6 damage increase. Then we've got the shield and the target becomes unstoppable. One thing that I can do is basically it can be targeted but through walls. And also, I can reduce the bubble cool time or bubble trap. Enemies hit are now rooted. That actually might be good. So, what we're going to try and do is actually gain a little bit here to basically try to uh, use that ability. What you can do is actually you can unequip all. And we'll equip the abilities to how we want. Uh, uh, according to what we want. So we're going to actually immediately do the bubble trap here. Like and we'll just basically utilize that as well. One thing that I want to do is I want to be able to heal as much people as possible. Selfish is actually just for me. It's not exactly the best thing. Um, but what I like to pick here is the targets also gain six shields for the turn. All right, so that takes care of my healing abilities. Uh, the other things that we can actually do is do a high pressure, which I really like, actually. So that really doesn't leave much for the rest of my abilities here. Um, the grand finale, we can actually use uh, leech infestation, gain 10 health per enemy unit. Which is good, because it actually heals me, so I might actually try this out. One of the other abilities that I can do is enemies are slowed until the end of the turn, which basically slows them down. We have got a grand finale, which is dealing an additional 10 damage in the targets at the center of the circle. I have a really, I have a real big problem trying to get everybody in the center of the circle, but uh, let's do leech infestation. And... Of course, that basically fills up all of our um, abilities loadout. I don't really have anything for the leech, but I figure that this is actually my least um, my least uh, able ability. This is the thing that really helps me the least. So we're going to leave it as such. Uh, one of the things that we can actually do is go back to our catalysts. One of the things that I have activated is the turtle tech, which basically gains me 30 shields for the turn. Uh, for my dash, I've got teleport a median distance, but one of the things I can do is basically teleport a short distance and route adjacent enemies at the end of ending of the destination. So I can basically fix them in place. That might be a better ability. So if somebody actually tries to move, they can't actually do that. Brain Juice basically reduces the ability cooldowns by 2 at the end of the turn. And then second win is basically a, a heal that happens over 3 turns. Okay, so we will see exactly how this match goes. 
I can't promise that we will win, but I will do my best to basically be a better player. I'm not necessarily a damage kind of person, I guess. And it's just like WoW, actually, because I did a lot of tanking at WoW. I wasn't an actually a damage person during my time in that game. In any case, what we have here, this uh, person deals a lot in traps and like high speed attacks. Uh, this also seems like a support person as well. Let me see if we can actually, we can't actually see any of the stats. We're just kind of, I would actually like to see what each character does. If I can basically click on these guys, but apparently, and these are the people that we actually like are facing right now, I think. Yeah. Okay. So we are loading the matchup and hopefully this goes quick. This versus screen tends to go fairly quick if everybody has a good connection, which Crumbidurdu definitely does not. Apparently he's lagging behind, but hopefully he can make up with the rest of the pack here. Come on, Crumbidurdu. All right, he's crawling along. He's getting there. He will get there pretty soon. If you think an enemy is going to kill your ally this turn, you can sometimes save their life by shifting or dashing to the line of fire. Interesting tip. One thing about my character is he does have more hit points, about a fourth more hit points than what uh, the other guys do as a support character. Okay. Plugging along here, Crumbadur. From, how do you, Crumbadur, Crumbadur, I cannot pronounce that right, apparently. Firepower freelancers focus on dealing large amounts of damage, but are easily killed once their dash is on cooldown. Also good to know, firepower is actually this girl right here, she actually has that kind of thing. Come on, Crombador. Crombador. Go, 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 go. Your team is ready. Okay, here we go. With this support character on my first move, I kind of like to move uh, behind at least one of the other characters, so I am in a position to support him. And let's see if we can like move over here. All right, so let's do this. Actually, we'll kind of go here, spray this area, then fade away. Got some glory. Huh, okay, so nobody showed up quite yet. What I'm going to do is do a fairly big spray over here and end up behind these guys. Lock in the move. Not sure what you're doing, though. Yeah, he's a support character. Watch your step. Well then, it's a good thing I'm going out of the way. This is a nuclear bomb, by the way. And it won't actually set off until the next turn. Nobody is quite there yet. Okay. Alright, so... What we can do is, because he is... Can't, we can't actually reach him, but we can actually put a bubble next to her. And that's the protective bubble that I was talking about earlier before the match. And maybe the pushback will root the bad guy in place here. Pain. I can move from my 
mission. And nobody was there when it hit. So this guy should be rooted in place then. He can't actually move. Alright, so. Can I hit anybody here? We can actually utilize a hit right there. We can't actually use our leashes either, but we can actually hit this guy. And let's wait to see. Looks like these guys are moving forward, so maybe I can actually run here. And that way I'll be able to support this person at least. Because these guys are about to start taking damage. Reeling the men. Your world is pain. This toxin was meant just for you. Good area of effect. The punching above your waist, figuratively. Alright, Umber in is in now. trouble. Alright, so we are head on head. But we are seeming to do some pretty good damage here. Alright, so now that I'm here, I've got a pretty good like location for these characters. So these two can actually be targeted by my healing ability really quick. I'll do that, and it looks like these guys are kind of just moving kind of slowly here. So I'm going to go here in order to support them. So I have like a, a view at le of at least this guy right here. And there we go. I command you to fight. Return from the ashes. Pain is unformed energy. Watch out! I get hands. Okay, I figured out what those are. Those are actual taunts, and they're not actually triggered by anything specific. Uh, but I think you actually buy those taunts, and they're fashionable. They take up a little bit of time, and then uh, they do what you want. Oh, okay, so this one is kind of vulnerable here. Let's see, we can, we can actually use a leech as well. So we're going to all gang up on him, I gather, and then he's going to get this. I'm going to let him have it because we don't actually need it quite yet. We're actually doing quite good. We don't have any damage whatsoever. Hopefully we can kill this guy before anything happens. Uh... And it's a good thing we actually are getting out of the way. Hopefully any, nobody moves into the square right here before the nuke actually hits. Twenty-two damage to him. Thirty damage to him. We have taken our first guy out. Alright, so we can't actually take any know heal anybody right now I don't really have anybody I can hit either uh, so what I can do is I can maybe spray and pray here with our ability to spray and pray and maybe somebody will move into our way and we will move behind him to basically support him a little bit Ready for you. thank you I will have the ability to uh, bubble you in the next turn if you like stay in one place. Oh. Okay. So we might have to heal some people in our next couple of turns when the healing ability actually comes back. Alright. Okay, so what we have is uh, we have actually, this guy is probably going to be a target here, so we're going to give her the bubble right there. Um, looks like she's moving over here. We'll move in behind her and see if we can uh, support these two characters as they kind of like move in. 
troubles are tumbling. Ah, I kept this in my back pocket. That's right, stand next to each other. You are all pawns in the grand game. Not so safe now, are you? That's pretty good, actually. Absolution waits. Okay, so she, she's actually supporting this character as well. Alright, so we have a choice to make. We can actually either heal this guy, which needs it the most, and they're probably chasing after her. Can we actually, we can actually get her and this Cromberg guy at the same time as well. Let's see, and we'll move behind these guys to basically support them. A walk on the water side. She's all the way up to normal too. Remain Maximum. Okay, so we have a hundred energy, so maybe if these guys stay together we will play out our number five move here, which is the Maelstrom. Oh, perfect. Okay, so we're gonna set the Maelstrom move right about there. We can't actually see our targets, but it's going to be absolutely amazing. Can't really do anything else other than our two other moves. We don't have line of sight for this guy or the other guys as well. Um, where are you guys moving? I will probably probably not move, actually. Let's see what happens here. It may be that those guys actually move out of the way before I can set this up. Brought for me. Yep, there you go. So she moved out of the way, the but we'll get these two as well. To my will. You will be remade. And we might actually have ourselves a kill here. Ah, it's a good thing that I'm not actually moving. Pretty awesome damage there, so let's see what happens here. Uh, we are actually moving, aren't we? So let's move there. And we can't actually hit anything, can we? So what we can do is we can get rid of our damage by hitting our thing right here. We'll actually... Yeah, we can't actually uh, activate our thing, but we're just going to stay put. Mysteries. Nice. That actually worked. How do you like me now? <laughs> I'm having a blast. How about you? So that healing basically allowed me to soak up quite a bit of damage here. So what we'll do now is we'll utilize our number six ability here, which is our shielding here. Still not really in range of anything, but we can basically see if we can go there, we can go behind here to basically help that out. You've got the perfect thing. Punching. I hit that hard. Ouch. All right. Kill number two. And we were able to hit somebody. That's pretty good. So remember, if you don't know if you're going to hit somebody, remember to spray and pray here. Not too fast. Be sneaky out. Ouch. All right, so we kind of moved ourselves in the line of fire. So one of the things that we can do is because a guard right here is in trouble, we can basically hit the healing. We'll heal ourselves up as well. We're going to kind of fade off into the distance because we don't like this guy right here. It's quite a bit of damage. Uh, 
not sure what that is. We'll see here. Yeah, alright. Alright, so since we're in trouble here, um, what I want to do is I want to basically do a maneuver that can basically sit this guy in place. And we'll basically transport here. And we will root him in place. You dare strike me. Bow to my will. Didn't quite work though. I might be dead. Yeah. Chase them down. Alright, so we are two and two, neck and neck here. Alright, so we have uh, an option of where to where to uh, spawn here. We will probably spawn actually this is a good enough place. We'll do that. Your time is not over. I've got the secret. I think our problem, though, is because we've got two support characters, we're not really doing a whole lot of damage. Uh, and so the support side of things... And we are right in the middle of everybody right now. Everybody's firing at the same spot. Yeah. Alright. So... Get behind Oregon... Oh, Omega and... Omeganster, I guess. Omeganster. Oh, so this match might be shorter than I thought. We were actually holding our own really good, but that's the lesson of this game: is if you don't, if you let things go, you might actually l end up losing in something that you actually won. I might have actually. What are you aiming at? Right, right. Okay. So, nobody needs healing, but what we can do is we can actually hit this guy right here. Um, and let's see where these guys are going before we actually do anything. Since this guy is rushing to this position right here, we not, we'll go over here. Hit and run. We've got a little bit of damage going on there. We ended up. Three turns remaining. Yeah, he's going to heal me up. Maybe what we can do is we can deal a little bit more damage here, but unfortunately, we don't really have a thing. What we'll do then is we will. S can't actually reach him. Let's like root this guy, or you know, give him a bubble shield. And just stick, stay in place right bubble, here. Bubble, toil and trouble. I bring your shape and then afterwards, we can actually like start healing these characters up. Alright, so once again, what can Two we do? Left. Well, uh, we do have three characters here. Um, we can use our heal abilities to basically heal at least the guard up and maybe another character. We might be able to reach her as well. Kind of move over there. Captain Glory. Wash away the pain. You can die when I allow it. Flying under the radar. I gotta love the voice acting where the 
apparently you can die when you're allowed. Like, it's, it's a thing that you're allowed to do. Okay, so final turn. Can I actually do anything about this? I can't really hit him, but I can hit this guy. Let's go for a leech, since he's a direct person right there. You can you can't see him, but he is. We're gonna fade off so we're behind him. He might actually be a target right now. Thank you very much. Their actions will be their undoing. Megan Stir. Oh. Yeah. We are taking some serious damage there. Oh, yeah. We were able to deal something at least before we die. Yes. Kill for me or for our team. Just beast. Oh. I was human once, you know. Did we actually? We must have. We hit our turn limit. That's why. Okay. All right. Well. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm. I'm gonna going to leave it at this match because these matches tend to be very long and stuff like that. But. Hopefully that kind of gives you an idea of what actually goes on and what how a support character actually works. It mainly has two things to support other characters. It's got that area, area of effect heal, and then it's got that bubble that basically protects it and does other things to the bad guys when it pops, I guess. So, thank you very much. Uh, let me know if you want to see more of this game. If do leave a like and or a comment and I'll see you guys next time.